So John, Rebecca, what seems to be the problem here? There was a point where I thought John was the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, and uh, what made you change your mind on that thought? Alcohol. Alcohol? It's been there since the day he proposed to me. So how was your day going? John's proposal was one of the best days of my life. I think there's something in your drink. What? Oh my god, John! He was excited and I was confident that he was the one for me. Rebecca, will you marry me? <laughs> of course! Uh... <laughs> but then it all changed. His father passed away and it changed John drastically. He had drinked on social occasions, but he was spiraling quickly. He was staying out late with his friends without any notice, and I would just be sitting alone at home, waiting and waiting, hoping he'd show up. Things weren't looking so good for us. Becca, I'm sorry. Come on, I'll get a new job. How else am I supposed to buy a baby all the toys in the world? I believe you, John. From there on, he kept trying and I saw something scary. It's caused tension in our marriage. It's ridiculous. You call this ridiculous? I drink every now and then, babe. I'm not a drunk. What? Explain this! That's Rocco. He put it in my bag last... Let me guess, John. Last night? Yes. Yes, it was last night. So Rocco put liquor in your work bag? John... Have you ever considered rehab? Doc, I don't need rehab. I'm trying to tell you that I'm fine. It's, I'm not like this every night. Listen, John, if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for Rebecca. Do it for your daughter. Don't you bring my daughter into this? You have no right to tell me what to do. Please don't start this, John. Here's a card for a great place. Probably the best in the state. Call them. I'll take my chances. John! I don't know what you want me to say, Rebecca. I went to your stupid fucking counseling and he didn't help. How is he supposed to help with you lying to him? I'm not lying, you just exaggerate everything. I'm done, I'll, I'll, I'll see you home tonight. I hope so. What do you mean, my love? John, for the better half of our marriage, I've been home with our daughter by myself. I've had enough. Enough of what? Of you not coming home. I can't stay up all night worrying about you. If you don't come home tonight, I'll take Angela and go to my mother's. Rebecca, no. No, I've had enough with the excuses. I'll see you tonight. I hope. Fuck, not again. John, where the hell have you been? I was dragged to marriage counseling session. I so she finally grew a pair and threatened to leave you. She's full of shit! I can't keep hearing these excuses. One more time, and I'm gonna have to suspend you. I know, I, I know. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Jake! I see why she wants counseling. Listen, that's not what it looks like. John, you're fired. Jake, no, I need this. No, what you need is help. I've gone through this, but I got help. Firing me is definitely gonna fucking help. It's doing more than drinking is.
Hey, what's up? Hey, John, it's Rocco. Ariana's out with her girlfriends for the evening. You want to hang out tonight? The boys are coming over for if you're not busy. Sure. What do you have in mind? You okay? You sound a little off. I, uh... I just got fired. Oh, shit. Man, don't worry, pal. Come on over now. We can help you with that. We got the keg. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. Sean, you had your chance. I'm leaving with Angela. If you can't fix yourself for us, at least do it for yourself. <laughs> Goodbye, John. Fucking animal last night, and it was awesome. You were the wildest I've seen you in years. I really had a great time.